What's up guys, KB America Life here again and welcome to another video. So today I want to share with you the process how to install a 240 volt NEMA 1450 in my garage. So before we start, I highly recommend, please guys, hire an electrician to do, to do this for you. I was lucky, I have a friend of mine, he's an electrician licensed uh, electrician he helped me out do this so um, for my situation as you can see the breaker box is the same side where I parked my car so I didn't have to uh, run a long cable wire to uh, to install it so I've decided just to put it right underneath the box so uh, the process it took like about 30 minutes, 45 minutes. It was very easy. It's, um, it's easy because when you know and you're sure what you're doing. So like I said, hire an electrician to do this for you. No games with electricity. So uh, let's jump in and see, look at the whole process. And let me show you at first where I installed it just you guys can have an idea so I have decided to just like install it right there because I parked my car right here if you guys can see this is where I parked my car so and it's right here so yeah let's go and look at the whole process all right guys, so like I said, I have the breaker box on the side where I parked my car. So uh, I've decided just to uh, put it right there, right underneath. <clears throat> so it might be uh, different for you. You may have to run a long wire, depends where you park your car. So here is the, what I used, the 50 amps breaker the uh, NEMA 1450 and the cover. And this is the list of everything I used for this project. Now the electrician, he's gonna start uh, wiring the NEMA 1450. So like you see, uh, we dropped the uh, cable, the six by three, uh, from the hole uh, in the breaker box down and uh, now he's uh, installing the uh, electric box on the wall to attach the power outlet so that uh, six by three electric cable uh, it comes like with four wires the ground the two hots red and black and the neutral and uh, There is no uh, particular order to attach those wires to the power outlet except for the ground uh, you have to attach it uh, where that green uh, screw now he's attaching the two hots The purpose of this video is not uh, to show you how to install it yourself, it's just to give you an idea uh, how, we, how it's done actually. Like I said, just hire a electrician, an electrician uh, to do this for you if you're not sure what you're doing. Like I said before, no games, guys, with the electricity.
So on the breaker box, he attached the, the ground with this uh, bunch of uh, ground wires all together. Then he came and he attached the, uh, the neutral and the two hots. He attached those to the breaker right here. And then at the end, he just uh, snapped in the breaker and uh, he verified like that, that's R attached well to the breaker. <clears throat> and then that's it. So uh, like I said, guys, if you're not sure what you're doing, just get hire an, uh, an electrician and that's an easy process for them. And that's everything, uh, the wiring process. All right, now let's see, here you go. You guys can see, it's 120, it's 120. And 241. Perfect. Okay, now we're gonna we're gonna plug. Okay, there you go. It's plugged. Turn it on. There you go. See the light right there. And we're gonna go to the car and plug it. start charging let's see what he's gonna say inside the car here you go it says 239 volt okay so it says one hour five minute usually it says so it says seven kilowatt eight
Yeah. So from 84% to almost 95% in one hour, which is pretty good. It usually says like about seven hours or something. Yeah. It's working. Perfect.